What's up? What's up? Welcome to episode. Episode what? Was it 27? Yeah, Something like on. that? That's, come on, Adrian. That's where you're right. at, bro. That's all. I was hoping you would just mm. cue that and then we'll cue it up from there. Welcome mm. back to HVAC. My episode. bad, my bad. Uh, welcome back to the HVAC Nights. My mic was muted, actually. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome back, guys. Welcome back to another Thursday therapy session, as I like to call it. That's uh, I it was the People oh, Show. The People yeah. Show. We got a lot of names for the show. We are the show. So, you know, help, what I'm help us uh, pay the bills. Go to camercitymill.com. Use the HVAC Nights 10. Uh, fucking. <laughs> yeah, hold on. That's, uh, that's just. So, Wait a minute, we don't... To... I don't know what he's trying to show, but Ooh, look at them legs. <laughs> you like them boys? Yeah, they, they don't get out much, but you know what I'm saying? We just wear pants, but uh those were the camel cities, the Dan Marino wolves. God, there you go. Right. Y'all say like Dan Marino so so often. I don't know what kind of it really is. Moreno wolf. Oh, okay. So I just, yeah. Oh, well, we got so they're gonna officially matches. change the name. Yeah, they should, and I, I will <laughs> gladly take a cut. <laughs> <laughs> uh so jake right before we we uh, got on what happened to your nose fuck dude all right so i'm doing an evaporator call right it was goodman um so like I, I go to pull the coil out the box and you know put the flaps down and as i'm pulling it up the flap comes up and i go down and it hits me right in the f- nose see and i thought it, you were gonna say the coil hit you no, no, no. Just the, the cardboard box is very rigid, very stiff box. <laughs> they uh, reinforced it very well. So shout out to Goodman for that. <laughs> but uh, I'm sitting there and I, I knew it was like like that. And then I'm sweating and like the salt and all that. I'm like, son of a bitch. And I'm wiping it and I'm talking to the customer. And this was actually yesterday this happened. And then, you know, it got worse today. I guess I just scratched it. And the customer was like, we're just holding a whole conversation. He's like, um, you got a scratch on your nose. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. He goes, you're bleeding. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, I was like Th- thanks for noticing. <laughs> Real story is my wife hit me. So, oh, <laughs> it's that brutal box. Yo, dude, that box hit a bitch. Got me good. That's the truth. Yeah. No, I'm the same way. If I get any cuts or anything on my face, I end up like, I always end up rubbing and then yeah. just making it worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And probably, yeah, how, how the hell? It's hard to keep your hands off your face, dude. Right now, the sweat. It's hot as hell right now. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say, boy. It was uh, it we had no five yesterday with with. I was like, about to say, Kurt's over there wearing a hoodie. Yeah, must be nice, <laughs> bud. That's because it's 62 degrees in my house. You know why? Why is it so oh, cold? Okay. It ain't that cold, but it's oh, cold. I was seeing if you had something else there going on. <clears throat> No, today was overcast and cloudy. There wasn't a whole lot going on. I had a change out yesterday, and we've been getting like the the thunderstorms at night. So, like yeah. in the morning, early in the morning, it was real nice. Thankfully, it carried over. Cloudy most of the morning, and we got the outside knocked out. When the sun came out, I had to go inside and finish the inside out. Mm. Hell yeah, <clears throat> solid. Love it. But other than that, it's been like 110 and up. Mm-hmm. It ain't even summer yet. Bro, it's, it is summer, dog. See, now, every time somebody comes down here from even up north in Texas, I always ask them, like, so what do you think of the weather? Like, how, like compare it to yours. Yeah. No, man, it's it's not this hot up there. Like, like Texas is so big, right? Mm-hmm. And I just, it, I'm, I'm just thinking about it because I had a, a really stupid comment um, earlier that, like, why am I complaining? And a lot of profanities. And I'm like, dude, where are you from? Right. And like, he just danced around there. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm from, I, I want to say he said it, it was swamp hot or I don't know what the hell he said. And I'm like, that doesn't tell me anything, dude. I was like, my dash was reading 120 degrees the other day. Yeah. High humidity, you know, you know, I mean, it's not the worst here. I'm, I'm sure there's other places. California, places like that that are like this. Uh, Florida, I know, gets like this too. Maybe Death Valley. Like, some places are just hot. I, I live in one of them. You know what gets you? It's the humidity. That's always in my head now. <laughs> <laughs> That's just yeah. too funny. But um, yeah, no, we had 10, 105 yesterday. 
but it was like 96 percent humidity so that's where it's like swamp ass galore and then but today was i mean it was probably 97 but the humidity was low it was like like it was it was okay like i still sweat but it was tolerable you know what i mean yeah whenever God, somebody can make feel guilty yeah you should be it, whenever somebody com- like tells me that i'm complaining or that it's not that bad i was like I-, I would just love for you to come work down here for a day and see how how you like it you know for sure kurt you'll yeah. have it soon now you'll have it soon yeah we're getting our heat a little bit at a time oh yeah we hit um 93 the other day okay getting a little something something in now for us to break um i would say 105 is rare yeah yeah we it'll happen it, especially um it's I know Atlanta's further north, but it seems like they get hotter and they get colder. Yeah. Yeah. But they ain't well, much further. What are they, two hours north of you, maybe three? Three hours. Okay. That's so crazy. I was going to say, when, it, when it's under 105 here, it's actually a nice day. <laughs> yeah, right? That's all. Like, yeah, we're good. Yeah. 101, perfect. You know, I'll take that over 110 or whatever oh, it is. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude, it's it gets rough. Like this weekend was a it was one of those suffocating hot days where it's just like heavy outside. You know what I'm saying? I can deal yeah. with the heat, except for like if I'm in a hot attic or something in the middle of a hot day like yeah. that. Yeah, that gets rough. That gets, I was gonna ask rough. ask you guys because I don't do attics. Like, have you guys ever checked the temp in the attic that you're working in? Yes. What does it get I, up to? I've checked it as high as 145. You know, unvented attic, um, and that's hot. You can't be up there for very long. Do you, uh, I don't know, do you take breaks? you get out of the attic? Oh, yeah. Yeah. For example, like if I have to do an evaporator call, I'm not going to be up there no more than 10, 15 minutes at a time. Oh, okay. I've always wondered that because I don't have to deal with that, and I just choose not to. But uh, I would assume the smart way to go about it is to be in and out, you know, yeah, well, like you can snatch the evaporator out. Yeah. In one session, get it put in and maybe take a little break to go back and solder it, button everything up, get out, start pulling the vacuum, then go back up and hook your drain up. I mean, yeah. you just don't stay up there for long periods. Yeah. Cause like with me, um, as long as I stay covered somehow right some people put up a canopy or an umbrella i'm i'm very bad about it you know most days and i end up like today some people saw me and they're like you look like you've been out in the sun i'm like yeah i didn't take my umbrella the other day you know and uh, when you're outside as long as you just keep shaded you're fine most of the time yeah it helps it certainly helps even that little that little hat y'all see me wear yeah oh yeah it shades the back of my neck and my face, and it helps. I was gonna say like a, a regular like baseball cap or trucker hat doesn't really do much in the sun. That's why I got this long hair. You know what I mean? It covers it like no bullshit. Like even though it, it does smart. get hot, I do uh pull it up though when it gets real hot out. But it does cover my neck because uh your boy's very fair skin. He's got that you know that Irish German What's Irish that? blood. You know. Have you ever so, checked uh? I asked Kurt like oh, the, the I want to say like I've never measured it. I mean, I definitely obviously you know one fifties. You know what I mean? Never I did like, anything. I, I more feel than like that. I need to start checking that now because I'm just like, for yeah, it, yeah. It, just it, like it. What, I checked. I'm like, what are the conditions that we're working in? You know, I checked and went at it not long ago. It was seventy degrees outside, and it was already one hundred and twenty degrees out there. And he was like, Bleh. yeah, mm-hmm. it's some ass, dude. But that's an oh. unvented attic. That's the unvented shit. ones are just brutal. I love yeah, getting I'm not, I'm not doing that. the icing and all that, boy. The spray foam. Sign me up. And there's a lot of those down here because there's a lot of energy homes or whatever. I mean, they're ass, but but yeah. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Swamp Back. ass season. Tis the oh season. yeah, um, Sam. I am extremely. I'm like an hour or so away from the 
the Gulf Coast and or the beach and yeah, humidity in the morning is like 90%. It'll die down, but it's still very high. <clears throat> but uh, today I went to uh, Insco and we had a, I don't know what you call those, like a counter day or appreciation day, whatever it is. They had food and all the vendors there. That's uh, ben, ben Pohl came down and I asked him, because he's from Austin, and there was another uh, guy – uh, that runs the Insco stores in Texas, and he's from like a little bit north of Austin. Yeah. And those were the guys that I was asking. They're like, "No, this is freaking hot, dude." And we were out there eating. My my dad went by and everything. We had tacos in the you know in the back, and uh, the inside was very well. It was like it had to be in the sixties. Like they had it low. Two. And uh, one of the guys that came from up north, he's like, I don't know how y'all ate over there. He's like, I was already sweating my ass off. I was like, dude, that was actually nice compared to what I'm used to. <laughs> no idea. You get it, climate it. Out, like people up north. I see them working on rooftops and snow this deep, and they're talking about it zero degrees. And I'm like, what? I would Man. die in that. And yeah. they die, and they're not wearing gloves or anything. I'm like, how do you do that? So. I I used to do that shit, right? And, like, I remember the worst day, bro. It was probably, it was, like, I want to say it was not negatives, but it was single digits, but the wind chill, bro. It was the fucking worst, dude. And I was so pissed, and we were taking off an old rooftop, and it was all, like, um that tar shit for the ductwork onto the, the um, whatchamacallit, it, the, the rooftop. And I just was trying to get it off and beat it and just fucking hit the coil, and it was just, like, psh- I'm like, ah, fuck it. And it was just cold as shit. Yeah. But I see them. I, I couldn't do what they do. I, I see them sometimes. Or I watch the videos and I'm just like, man, that looks brutal. Yeah. So yeah, you don't, they, you don't miss that, Jake? Nah, dude. That's why I'm here for the Florida. Yeah. That's why we're here, you know? Or either it's like half rain and half snow. It's wet, cold up there. It's, it's, it's a slush. And, yeah. I don't miss it, man. Oh, that's what I hate the most. Like when we get cold weather here, I'm like, um, I'd rather it be like a dry cold. Like I hate when it's like raining and like freezing out. Yeah, it's bullshit. <laughs> like, and that's it happens often here. Yeah, I hate it. And like what we have, I guess it would be the same climate as you. Is like it, the humidity, even when it's cold, it's like a, it's a, there's still humidity in the air. So it's like shitty. You know what I mean? You guys on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this that don't know we're on YouTube? I don't know. Oh, they're oh, they're watching from Facebook. Yeah, go go look up reliable HVACR. Go look up HVAC guy and go look up cooling with Kraus. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's like we'll find that's this where we are. We just happen to be other places. We're broadcasting everywhere. Oh, is that what you're doing? Um, you got it all uh, across all the platforms. I got it on Facebook and LinkedIn. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! People watch. Um, and that that reminds me, I went to, so I went to Insco, right? We did the we hung out there. It was you know a little shindig, and uh, I I went over. Well, before that, I was like getting parts. You know, my morning was kind of easy. It was getting parts, getting quotes, getting prices, uh, like hopping around supply houses. And then like I went back to my Johnstone, and the guy. It took him a while to get to his point, and he's like, "Dude, I was, you know, trying to." educate myself on this hvac stuff because you know how they hire just like anybody and they kind of just train them i guess at the counter and uh he said he was looking up youtube videos and all this and that and then finally he's like i came across your videos he's like you know love your videos helped a lot this and that i'm like okay cool he could have like started with that because i didn't know what the hell you're getting to yeah right like long-winded ass story like yeah so funny enough you know every now and then they do find them because right now it's a whole new like crew that's been there for a couple months. Mm-hmm. And every now and then, like the previous ones had found me too. Like, you know, when you go searching for HVAC, you certain people pop up, you know, you know, um, there's a supply house in Tifton that watches everybody there watches my videos, mm-hmm. except the girl that works on the counter. And every now and then I'll, I'll call up and I'll ask her, I say, do they still watch my videos? She goes, Every day, every day. <laughs> it used to be weird for me, but I'm like, yeah, I'm on YouTube. 
it is what it is i try to but i went I back know. to drop off the the magazines that ben had brought down so i was like well if you guys are into this kind of stuff here's the uh hvac tactical magazine check yeah. everybody out oh there we go who's on the cover uh the this one is zach hmm. <laughs> i didn't know if it was hot. gonna be big big dog lou you know what i'm saying the boiler man he was on the oh that's right that's right that's remember right. when we went um the yeah, catalog that... or whatever it's called yeah I, I, don't, I haven't seen the newest ones i don't know just curious they're, they're gonna they're gonna be quarterly so like four four issues a year i think that's Solid. like i was speaking i told you i was speaking with billy spong big bill or so that's the young is that the junior little, that's junior little I, I just met him i didn't i don't know his dad either so you I don't, don't know, know bill huh. no i didn't know who he was look man hey, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you a little tip all right because i know all about the brand deals i'm gonna let you know what you do it's the same as when you go to get a job right you look them up you study that motherfucking business and you name drop every mother <laughs> like oh yeah yeah no i'm just kidding kurt obviously you're you're doing well continue i'm sorry well when he came on i said well who am i speaking to <laughs> and who the fuck are you <laughs> <laughs> Well, I didn't know who he was. I know. It's funny. <laughs> and um they started it. come to find out he's telling me that he he's seen more of my videos than some of the people they've been sponsoring all this time. Facts, bro. That's why I'm like, and I'm like taking you so well, long. Dude, what took you so long? Facts. Wait, what did he say? He said uh, he's seen more of my videos than the people that they're sponsoring. What the hell? All right. <laughs> Bro, you're you're you about to start eating, dog. Just don't start selling like uh don't be all like Mr. G E or anything like that and selling weird systems. Oh, that looks just like a green. Yeah, I saw that. I'm like, come on, bro. They're uh I'm seeing more of those now. I'm on, sorry, on dude. Green. I know exactly who you're talking to. <laughs> like, oh, uh, hey, bro. Well, there's a few of them now. It's weird, but I mean everybody's doing but Every manufacturer is getting into every space in the game. You know what I'm saying? But just having stuff readily available, if you're going to start putting that in and slinging it, you better have fucking shit that you can get same day, next day. So have you guys ever, or do you know much about the GE stuff? I didn't even know they had equipment. It looks just like a GRE. Yeah, yeah. all that shit looks pretty similar. I noticed. Um, I've never come across a GE <clears throat> unit. It, I'm yeah, telling you, it's almost won't. got to be made by Greed because he took it apart and showed pictures of it. It looks identical uh, to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're all probably all. I think we have a, a supply house that is like that's their brand, but I've never been to that supply house. <clears throat> what supply house? Baker? Has a weird name. No. I choke. No. That's a pipe. <laughs> that's plumbing, but whatever. Same concept, right? But uh, yeah, so I was at Insco in the. The Ream and Rude, some head. Honcho now that's dude now that's there. a brand I can get behind right there. Yeah, but remember I had the issue that I couldn't get a damn coil. Sounds like a pro personal problem, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So Is it like I, you're not a dealer, or what's the deal? Well, I'm not a dealer, so I have to get it through somebody, right? Uh, Either or, and, but so what they end up saying? So I told the 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 dude that he's like, I'm from Ream Rude. What like what's going on? Yeah, and I was like, cool. well, funny enough, you know, the guys here at yeah. at Insco, because I had to call them out, um, told me that I could not get a coil, right? They they told me that they're looking for it, and they just told me no. I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to say, right? I just like, okay, thank you, bye. Yeah. Like, uh, and he's like, that he's like, that's ridiculous. He's like, like it should never be a no. You'll get a lead time, but that that's he's like, no, that's dumb. They're being lazy. I don't know why. Like he went off on a tangent Tangent. there and i'm like all right he's like just send me the i, I need to text him out he's like send me the info and you know we'll get you that because i told him i was like it's a 20 uh that one was a 2017 i was like you're telling me that they got to replace a unit like within that time frame five to seven years <clears throat> he's like no so i don't know hopefully i got through and we'll be able to get something because i have two units that are leaking i've seen it happen with the linux with what a Linux package Our, that had to be replaced because couldn't, couldn't get, get anything. Fun. Didn't you do? Did you do a video on that? No, I thought I saw. I did. And how how old was that unit? It was still under the five year warranty. Damn. But did they they honor yeah, it, or is that what ended up happening? 
Um, this, this was a home warranty call. Oh, okay. So after I diagnosed and billed out, I'm not real sure what happened. True story. The home warranty is at that point mm-hmm. is supposed to step up and replace it because they can't fix it. But I, I don't know if they did or not. <clears throat> I will say no, things have like, definitely gotten a lot better though since COVID. You know, getting stuff, which is well the the guy the guy told me that they're still they still can't you know get things out right. So he's like, if anything, it would have been like a six to twelve week um, mm. lead time on it. He's like, but we we should be able to get you the coil. What he's I like, would. Our design hasn't changed much. It should be the, the same coil we've been using and still use. I was like, I know they all look identical to me, but I, yeah. I they told me no. When I um, because usually it is the condenser coils that I've had an issue with, and then I had one blower motor they're, they're in the past sh- two shit. years. Yeah. But what I do is I I repair that bitch. I know we talked about this on the last show. I'll repair it, and I still get the warranty coil. And that way, within that time frame, we can at least get them some sort of cooling aspect. You know what I'm saying? They'll pay for the repair. Yeah. And we'll come back and then we'll do some sort of way to get it. Well, I have, I have that one. I have that one that has that stupid putty. I haven't tried to take it off yet. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. Just put some more on. Um, what? Oh, <laughs> like pile it on. Yeah, it's fuck it. I didn't quite understand how bad that was until I saw the picture. <laughs> you saw the video, right? Yeah. That, that's dude, pretty bad. Dude, like, I was like, dude, the, the, the guy used, like, I don't know how, how much all of it. Of it. Like, yeah. It's like, just my house and it's like, I'll take it all. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm about to, because I don't know if you can heat it up and get it off. Like, I was like, if not, I'm about to grind it mm-hmm. and cut it out or something because, you mm-hmm. know. But have you, so then, Jake, have you done a lot of aluminum repairs? Because that's the issue that I'm having. <clears throat> all the time. That's all I ever do. <laughs> no, I did that. Did I? Must- yeah, no, it was Riley. I was going to say it must have been Riley. I, uh, not negative i haven't um done it but generally they're uh they're copper oh you no know, um because i've well real quick i've rooftop. talked to several people and like nobody's really like done it um confidently right I, i'm and I, what i would love to do is get scrap a scrap coil and try to practice on it or something because i hardly ever see them but like they always leak yeah but, um, well they got them special rods and all that in residential, most of the time it's easier to just replace the coil. All day long, yeah. Exactly. Um, I got a kit just in case I want to try it one day. That's true. But you know, I have, if, a, I have a kit. It's on the micro channel. I, yeah. It seems yeah, just, like that would be hard to do. My, uh, the homie George, uh, I know he had one. This was at our old company. The dudes, they were doing an install. When they were doing it, they hit the fucking micro channel. Didn't say nothing. They knew they did, but he went back out there and he just patched it up real quick and got it. It was a brand new unit, so obviously we've got to fucking fix it. And um, yeah, he fixed it up with that that special kit. So, I had I, one. No experience here. We're, <clears throat> we're talking about you know work things at at, at Insco and uh, there there's certain companies that have called us out like four or five hours out and they want us somebody else already diagnosed it or something mm-hmm. like that or their maintenance guys whatever it is and they want us to go do the work right and it's like compressor replacements and, and this and that so one time i went out there for a, uh i want to say they condemned two compressors on this unit right which is already a little fishy mm-hmm. so i go out there and then um you know they they just want us to put in the compressors i'm like all right I was like, I really don't think these compressors are bad, right? We couldn't run it because it was flat. And uh, I did a quick ground check and all that, continuity check. And I'm like, this thing's not grounded. I don't know what you found. I'm like, no, nah, just do it. Just change them out, this and that. Mm. So then, like, during our pressure test, I hear a, a loud hissing sound, right? And I go over and I took off the hail guard because it's a, a train RTU uh, that had the, the guard on the coil and everything. And I took it off and there's a big slice down the middle. So I think what happened was that somebody was trying to remove the gr- the guard. Yeah, and they just fucking took that bitch. Slipped. That's exactly, bro. <laughs> speaking of which, that's what they ended up fucking doing because it was a train when they were putting yeah. that bitch together. Boom. <laughs> I was like, oh. I'm pretty sure this is what happened. And I'm like, com- new compressors are not going to solve this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll put them in. Uh, like, well, I, I'm not, I didn't say no to the money. So. Straight up. Yeah. 
I have done a repair that somebody else diagnosed one. I've only done it one time and I regretted it. Yeah, I get asked all the time and I hate it. Um, and I think it was um, like an evaporator coil somebody diagnosed. And this is one of these um, vertical P tags in a hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, they said, evaporator coil is leaking. Will you come change it? And I was like, you know, I really like, no, we already know what the problem is. Yo. So <clears throat> this is a heard that so many times. When I needed the work, and I was like, okay. Yeah. So I went and I ordered the evaporator coil. I changed it. Did two you weeks video later, video? two, three weeks later, they called me back and say it ain't cooling. It's low on Freon, and it was leaking at the capillary tubes at the distributor. Mm hmm. And I told them what, what it was, and they got mad at me. I'm like, hold on for a second. Yeah. I didn't diagnose You paid me to yeah. do what, the evaporator yeah. call. You, de yeah. you definitely did a video on that, yeah? That's before I was doing videos. You had one very similar, I remember, though. Something, same thing. Oh, yeah, like, that, that happens. There's been one where I fixed one leak, and it leaked somewhere else, and they didn't. So we just, we just had that same issue, right? So... <clears throat> we get there it's frozen up da, 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 but we're able to find the lead got a couple hits that the evap out of being about a boom next day go out change it uh, i want to say it was about a week and a half later it's flat again but at this time it's in the condenser uh george did this one i said he's like what you know what's the step i said yo we go charging for a leak repair and they obviously they call back you were just here yada 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 it's like no 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 this this is a separate issue like maybe we can cut you a break on the refrigerant but you're, you're still gonna pay because one there was a leak in here and this is a separate you know what i mean and then two the, the dude's running the fucking ac when it's froze up so outside it, it cracked off the, the discharge line where it usually does on a rude but you know what i mean it's so uh, but you gotta hit i mean it is what it is i know it's it's a shitty situation but yeah, <laughs> those things become frail and weak at those points when they're already structurally. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I, I tell you what, I'm gonna tell you a, a situation. Over the winter, this woman had a condensate line that ran over her kitchen from a condensate pump. What was it copper? Copper mm. froze and it busts. She cranks up her air conditioner. She starts seeing a wet spot in her ceiling. Called us out there. We find out what it was. We got to run a new line, but it's at a very low mm -hmm. roof. <clears throat> and we told her, look, do not run your air conditioner until we get back and fix this. Bruh. We get back and the whole <laughs> kitchen is just covered in water. Yeah. And then my guys, they got to crawl on top of that stuff in the insulation with a really low roof. Yeah. And some of it came through the ceiling. And she's talking about, she calls me up saying, and then she shows me pictures where her whole ceiling fell in. Mm -hmm. Talking about, you going to pay for this and all that stuff. And I was like, I told you not to run your air conditioner. Bro. But yeah, you know what I ended up doing? I ended up just turning it over to my insurance company and let them deal with it. Yeah. I, was like, I was like, look, this is what happened. She wants to make a claim. If y'all want to pay it, go ahead. Yeah. Um, we, that's, that's always a hard one. Um, I've, I've told plenty of customers, you know, do not run this. You know, we try to make a sign or something and, you know, yeah out of commission or something but they always end Still up it always back. ends up back on at some point oh yeah well, i had one one time where the txv was clogged up or it's good. Yeah, it was clogged up right his bucket txv was clogged up told them not to run it mm -hmm. i told them not to run it get, get out. I, get. I send my tech over there to fix it i told him Run it in reverse. Make sure it runs. Mm -hmm. And if there's a clog in the TXV, I want it to get caught in the dryer. So run it in reverse before you go replacing the TXV. He gets out there, replaces the TXV, and then the compressor is shorted. I was like, I told you to run it before <laughs> you do it. 
Boom. Damn. I had the one where uh compressor, you know, sound like rocks in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? And so I love those. <laughs> and this is when I was first starting to like figure things out, I guess. And um replaced the compressor, it ran, and then a couple days later it did the same shit. And uh now, regardless, you know what I mean? When it, that shit happens, it's like we're replacing the TXV as well. Like just right off the rip, we know that, you know what I mean? But yeah, and I'm you gotta well. go back out there and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll be like, fuck, man. But learning curves, baby. That's what we're here for. You're yeah, like this purpose. one. Uh, I, I try, they try to repair before replacing the coil. Sometimes mm -hmm. you just do what's easier or what's best for the customer um, mm -hmm. or quicker. Because that one that I said that they sliced the, con the condenser coil, I don't know what happened. I offered to re repair it, but we did it. We went out there on a quoted job, right? I was not going to do anything extra unless Outside I had the money. Outside of the scope of work, yeah. Unless I had the the payment there, so I guess they were like, "Well, you know, we'll take care of it." So, yeah, I'll let them deal with all it right. all day long. That was that was five hours out, so I was like, "I'm I'm ready to go." You know? Oh my word, I wouldn't go that far. You got paid, a, bud. <laughs> oh yeah, like, there's a there's a trip fee. There's everything that goes into that, and that's a fucking three, day, three, bro. Yeah, three or four of us went out there because they had not several. Where was it at? Like north, south, east, west? Day. That's what I was about to say. Like, take the family, bro, go on a trip. <laughs> like, like I we thought of the, about that too. Yeah. Um, this was five hours, uh, kind of west up north. Okay. okay. Yeah. So over there in that area, which is uh, that other state. I don't know. Riley's walking to play, y'all. Yo, what up, big ride, dog? Usually he's half asleep right now. I don't blame him. I'm fucking feeling the effects. Yeah, we did a man, we did a change out yesterday. I, mm. I think I posted it in my stories. I might do like a little clip of it or something, but it was well, for one, I I, I prefer commercial. You guys that do uh split systems, change outs, installs, I'll give you guys, you know, your uh credit on that. I don't like doing them at all. Mm -hmm. Uh we yeah. had to put in we had to put in a uh, – the system that we took out was much smaller. The new one, I can't even tell you what brand it was. I forgot who bought it, but it was – You don't know what the new smaller. brand was? Armstrong or I don't know, something like that. It's probably GE or something. <laughs> <laughs> so the new one was taller. We had to go get the, the frame <laughs> redone, and then we got that done. We had to go put it in. We had to take off the – take off. It was in a closet, right? So it sounds easy, but actually, mm -hmm. this closet was up against a walk-in box that they had built. They built around the, that bitch, yeah. In the kitchen, I'm like, I'm like, why? All right, had to take off the doors, remove the doors. Old one getting out wasn't too bad. We just had to make a a sharp turn because it was thinner sideways, right? Got it out, then it barely fit out. <laughs> Get the new one in. The new one's a lot thinner all around but it's much taller so then we have to deal with that and but you the, can't get to the duct work on the top to seal it and... the, the closet was enclosed right so it's only one guy on each side and that's it like we didn't even have anybody in, in the front or in the back to kind of help teeter it because we had to put it at an angle to like slide it, it up <laughs> yeah and oh. that thing was heavy dude well that's when you uh remove the, you take out the blower you take yes out the i told I told my dad, I was like, the only other way is is if we disassemble this thing and build it in place. Yeah. But uh, that's no, what we everybody went, does. That, we yeah, went that's hard, we went the hard um, route. The carrier products, it's like their three tons are now much bigger than their old three tons that had the slant coils in them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I replaced one one time and I, I look at the size difference and I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, bro. I'm going to have to build a whole new plenum and everything because this thing's huge. They call them them big backs, bro. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, one, one of our guys uh, redid it, redid the the duct and plenum, but it wasn't that bad. But um, you know, when you try to go back like for like, you hope it's going to be a yeah. easy job. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, that's what I was going to say. Like on residential, I think you, go, you do more like modifications and, and custom kind of work to get or like at least when you're going from an older equipment, mm -hmm. you know, to get it in there. And, and it took us 
most of the day but i mean we got it in there it was just a lot of rerouting and the old one was piped in super nasty like had like on the outside going to the condenser i mean the wall was right there the line set was right there the, the units right there freaking had like five or six couplings and elbows just to get <laughs> yeah, down yeah. just to get to the damn unit i'm like why bro. i just cut all that out and bent in a little well, back in the day there. bro fittings was the thing you know what <laughs> i mean yeah, that many I mean, fittings. I don't use fittings, bro. Like I and then one, so I did one this week, and I had to like I basically like made a big old U to get it around because they had a bunch of street nineties in together, and it was I mean, it, whatever. It was a twenty year old system, so they did a good job at whatever. But just to make it work, yeah, I'm with you, bro. It was like you always look at this old shit, and you're like, damn. But yeah, every now and again, you come across some old stuff, and you think, damn, that looks pretty good. I've seen some sometimes. stuff. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah, right. I got to tell you, though, most of the work around here is just ass. It is just. Uh, real, real quick, Austin, we go live every Thursday, so make sure to tune in. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. man. Like, like you see more yeah, bad jobs Austin, than good ones. Austin. Yes. <laughs> uh, you yeah. do, too. I've seen you walk up on some stuff that looked. Jank. Like, like I said, I wish I had started my channel like a year or two before because man, I ran into some really clusters. Like, yeah, that some some of these like almost broke me, honestly. <laughs> like Bro. my god. Um, oh, but that that one that we put in that AC unit, that was a customer that got fed up with their previous company. And and I always hate, you know, we've talked about a couple of guys, you know the diy stuff and all that I, I i hate the the attention that all the bad techs get right because then it's like oh they're all scams or all mm-hmm. bad but it does happen i mean i'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie about it because we got this job because a previous they got tired of the previous company right we we're taking apart the condenser I, I looked in the panel the dude like wrote the company name signed his name and everything all proud yeah it was like whatever Damn. and uh i was like maybe he was, was like, a good one though it was somebody else you know <laughs> no i was like i know that company my dad's like you know he's a real he's a real uh fucking piece of piece work of work yeah and i was like well what mm-hmm. happened and he told me that okay they had like a walk-in box issue right so the guy went to go replace a defrost timer so jake i don't know if you ever had to you know look up parts or anything that's like an 80 to 100 dollar part for us mm-hmm. Okay. Right? The dude charged almost fifteen hundred bucks to change one out, right? Solid. And it is <laughs> it is just a timer with like I don't know what is Four, it? Five, five, connections, it? five connections. Well, yeah. Well, let me ask you, what do you charge? It's just the uh w- like we have a you don't have like a you don't have a yeah, it's not a not. rate. It's not okay. a rate. We usually go one and a half uh okay. over what it is, and then like our labor, which okay. I, Honestly, it would have been like an hour, an hour and a half. So, what, like a couple hundred bucks? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus 1500 My man making uh, that cake. Yeah, so he got it going. I think, I want to say, he might, the way he described it, might have been like a leaking trader or something like that. I don't know what it was. Mm. Charged, upcharged the hell out of it. Uh, call back a couple weeks later, or a mm. week, or I don't know what it was, on the weekend. Went out there. And uh, yeah, easy peasy. Um, went out there and charged overtime rate and all this. It was another like 300, 400 bucks. Same system. At yeah, admitted to them that it was just a loose wire. I was like, this dude like straight up just said that. I was like, he just installed it. So like, yeah. So he who who left the loose wire, right? Him. Yeah. Uh charged him and everything. And then my dad was telling him, like, why did you pay it? The thing is, it's a mom and daughter that run this, um, these two stores, That's right? Shit, man. And I was like, oh man, they were just taking advantage of them, right? Because they don't know what what he's talking about, and he's just up there upselling, upselling, upselling. So there are people like that out there. It just it just sucks. Yeah. Yo, if I know you got the money though, like if it was like a big company, like, you know, <laughs> I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna tax him a little bit more, probably. You know what I mean? I'm just <laughs> just being real, you know, but. Nah. You gotta um, you gotta tax for the I will adjust the fucking edits. prices just like that, man. Yeah, nah. Like 
you want to help people out as much as you can, especially like a small business like that. Like they, and they're, they're super nice, dude. Yeah. Like I said, it's a, it, they're older. Like it's a mom and daughter, but she brought us, um, pan dulce and everything that morning. Oh, like, I she love pan dulce. Snacks and, you know, they fed us there because it's a sandwich shop. I was like, dude, they're, they're, so, they're like, do you want anything else? Like they're, they're that kind of people. Everything. <laughs> yeah. Like, right. You need anything? Yeah. For sure, like, dude. Man. Nah, you gotta take care of those people, man. Like, there's no sense in fucking breaking them over the coals, bro. Watch out for Handy Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck in a truck. There's so many names for that. Chuck in a truck. That's the one. Uncle Buck. You know. Exactly, Mike. No charge. That's a callback. There's no that's way around it. What I would have done. I would have just said, "Sorry, guys. That's that's on me." Oh yeah, bro. I mean, I just did that last video. I um, and I, the shorted wide like it. Fucking, that was me, bro. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. If I have to go back out there, and, and we try to make sure they understand, like, if it's something that we did, don't worry about it, right? Yeah. Don't, yep. If it's like something that happened down the line, you you replace, oh. like, if I replace a timer and then I go, I go back for a leak, of course, that's another charge. Separate, bro. If it's a totally yeah. separate issue, but if it pertains to something like you, and that's he just told, where your integrity comes. He told comes. them straight up, it was a loose wire on the timer. I was like, dude, could have just, yeah. Could have made something up, honestly. Yeah, and somebody, just, somebody's wanting to be really interactive with me. Yeah, he he's ready. He's like, hey, well, I, so he wants some screen time. You know what I mean? He's, he's had it. He's had enough screen time. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't showed he's them still, nuts yet. Oh, he's proud of them. He'll show them to you. <laughs> I don't blame him. You know, I would be too. You know what I'm saying? But then we get caught up in a lawsuit, and then we got a problem. You know. <laughs> Yeah, that was my whole point. They they give us all a bad name because I hate hearing about it. Yeah, those are the only ones. None, none of the good shit really gets. No, that's what I, that's what I hate. But but we all do it to an extent. Nobody like nobody says credit. like yeah nobody yeah. says like oh this company came out and and got us cooling in the middle of the night or you know got us. As long as you just give them that day. Google review, bam! Hey, hit me with that Google review. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. you know, if I have a customer that. that's praising me, telling me I did such a good job. I may ask them to leave a Google review. If you yep. really feel that way, you can help me out by leaving a good That's review. That's what I say. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like, I'm trying, we to, got these, trying to get into that too now. These Google Boost cards, man, and it's just a, uh, a NFC. You just tap it to their phone. It opens it up, and it goes right to your Google page. That way, because we have um, – we're fixing it now, but in Service Titan, you send a link. Like, I got 700 – five star reviews through service titan could you imagine if those were on fucking google bro like we'd be at the top our seo oh. would be like fucking sick but it wasn't turned <laughs> on to optimize that shit and it's only in service titan but anyways we finally got it turned so you on. have like a rating in service titan yeah so it's like when i'll have to show you guys um so like when we hit dispatch it'll say hey your technician jake's on the way jake is Third generation tech, he does this, that, and a third. You're in good hands, bada bing, and it kind of gives um, them almost like a little backstory and a picture of you. So when you show up, they know what they're looking for. You know what I mean? Cool. But when you end the job previously, it would just send them a link for service Titan reviews instead of Google. So, but I was about to say 700 on Google is right, really good, <laughs> right? Yeah, we'd be damn, bro. Five stars, too, boy. It was, oh, yeah. was six forty six. I ain't gonna lie, but I round up. <laughs> I don't think I, do, I have, but I do like the same. Eight or nine reviews, and they're all good except for one. This guy complained. He said he knew what the problem was within fifteen minutes, but he still charged me for an hour. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, they always be. Oh my god! I, I'll read like some old. Let's just. I'll go through companies ones and read them, and I'm like. I can see why, like, the you know what I mean? Like, there's no reason a customer needs to be that much of an ass to give them a low review. I'm like, oh, it's, it's always that they charged me for this when I didn't. It's like, bro. No, when do, when do people mostly leave reviews? It's like, unless you ask them for it, it's when they're, when they're upset. Pissed. Yeah, when they're upset or they want something for free, you know? Yeah, and, like, as long as they take that, we had one instance. <clears throat> we got one bad one right now, and it's not even us. It says... A guy named Bobby was harassing him on Facebook. We don't have a Bobby, okay? <laughs> like, like, and obviously we can't do nothing about it. We asked him to contact <laughs> us, so we'll we'll hit it. Well, it'll take a minute through Google to do it, but it's on there right now, so it kind of sucks. But since we started with Busy, it's uh, I want to say we got sixteen five stars, so we're you know slowly 
You know, if you, if you if you have a a review that is obviously a personal attack, uh huh, has nothing to do with the business, you can contact Google and they can they can take it out. Admonish that shit, bro. Yeah, I just got into it. Um, well, Jobber started offering it. I'm like, why not? You know, I was trying yeah. to whole marketing All thing day, this bro. year with the. Uh, we got like a marketing team and everything uh, oh, working on some stuff. Yeah. Who's your... oh, you, you know the dude. <laughs> <I know. laughs> um, oh, I'm waiting for our website. Hopefully that's going to be up soon. It's been a while, but I, I already yeah. contacted him. Dude, it, looks, it looks dope, but wait yeah. on it. Uh, oh. My website and all that stuff, all that effort I put into that was a waste of time. Hey, hey, hey. It was. I just wanted to look professional. I mean, yeah, bro. I mean. Right. Sure. You Google uh, Google our company name. I want everything to be like there. So we we started the review thing through Jobber. We've already got like I don't know five or six of them. Mm -hmm. Even the one that that we took over, like I said, the one that we just did the change up for. They were so happy that they just went and left the review once they found out that we had a uh, that built in. That's the and best. That's though, how, bro, how, how, you know that's how happy they were. Yeah, that's like. Bro, I like just going on there like during the day just to see. Like even when I worked at other places, I would see if they left reviews. And like when you see your name, yeah. it makes you because I always told this is what I always told the customers, bro. Like it's I, obviously I'm repping another company, like when I was working somewhere else. I'm like, look, it's their brand, it's their company, like, but my name's here too. So like if say I go to go somewhere, if the other company does their due diligence, they'll look up reviews, they'll see my name if it's good or bad. You know what I mean? So I was like, my name's as much on this as theirs. You know, but not everybody has that same thought reputation. Process, you know? Yeah, it's reputation. Um, like Mike says, you ever get the the customer? It's like, thank God you showed up rather than the other guy. Oh yeah, I love it. Right? <laughs> if they say that to like, me, I don't, I don't know what. To say. But who the hell is the other guy? <laughs> oh, the guy that would work that he used to work for me. Who would take my side? My work, that guy, that guy, Kurt. You know, sometimes they'll say, you know, the last guy out said it was this, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't, I do the same shit. I'm like, that was, that was me. Like, that was me. <laughs> yeah, like, like, I don't know, but yeah, I'm like, yeah, oh yeah. And then like, I have to walk them back through. But, like, see, I remember last time I was here, I told you this because they'll like try to like almost in a sense like manipulate what you <laughs> told them. And I'm like, mm, uh, there it is. Uh, so that's like I know what I said. I never. I'll never <laughs> Uh, I'm not even trying to do that. I know. I think it's the black background now. I don't know. You need more lighting, Jake. Yeah. No. <laughs> there Yo, we go. Get the flower. How that work? <laughs> Light up your world like it's the Fourth of July. And I'll go see what... Sorry. Oh, I did an uh, Instagram video with Rocking in the USA. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah, but you know, I, I get I feel like the, the guys that are doing these Instagram videos, they're all doing um a short selection of music that they're choosing from. Mm -hmm. I'm choosing from music all the way back. But from you like know, yeah, yeah, bro, of course. All the way up to now. But that's what yeah. helps uh, apparently with the algorithm and all that good shit. If like you have a song that's like popular Trend. amongst the yeah, trending, it'll I, be I hate, in that. I hate, yeah, I tried that for a while. I hate that. Like I, I done like what you did, Kurt. I'm trying to go away from the music a little bit because I was using it. I feel like I was using it too much, but I love the music. Yeah, man. I, I did one like like stuff that I would listen to. Right. Like Mike Jones. Who? Uh, <laughs> that one. When I posted that, I was like, oh, my God, I forgot about this song. I love it. Like I, I like to put like stuff that I used to listen to. I went down a rabbit hole like probably about a month ago. Just downloaded old. I had some little John and the East Side boys, little scrappy. I was like, yo, but it's got some yin yang twins in there. I'm like, man, I ain't listening to this shit because they're not. They, they were popping at the time, but they didn't have a sustainable. Yeah, lead. you you forget how many. Yeah, bro, like Young John for a minute. To to you yeah. know, y'all know there was a song I put on. It was either a short or an Instagram video. Classic. Y'all ain't gonna believe the song I put on there. Which Give one? us a hint. Just a hint real quick. It's called The Bad Touch. You know what it is? Doesn't sound good. It's that song that says, "Um, you and me, baby, we ain't nothing but mammals. Oh, I did see oh, that yeah, yeah. So let's do I was it surprised like that you used it. Yo, <laughs> the, uh, what the hell was her name? The what boy? Or I was like, this is Kurt? <laughs> yeah. Something wild gang, something gang. What was the name of them? Bloodhound Gang. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, they had some goofy shit. 
Oh my god! I, I just I like the song. I'm gonna throw it in there. See if anybody comments about it. Oh, I'm gonna tell you something else. I do. I've been doing this for years now, and almost nobody gets it. I will make a reference to a song in my thumbnail. Now it might be from 1970. I heard the ooh that smell a few times in there, Kurt. <laughs> and nobody comments about it. I've done. <laughs> I've done train, train. I've done. Can you smell? I've, I've only smell? caught it a couple times, I think. Yeah. But I'm making references to music, and nobody ever comments about. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they just love you. That's why they just don't they're think just that, invested in the, job. the uh, Yeah, they're just not adapt to the music. They're just <laughs> give me the work. <laughs> well, part of me is thinking like the train, train, that old Blackfoot song. Um, today's generation never heard that song. Yeah. Or if they have, oh, dude. I mean, I don't know. Dude. Yeah, don't, don't. I don't walked even up get in the started. house. The, uh, the, today, a lady, um, she was jamming out to some George Jones. <laughs> I was, I was, like, I was okay. gonna say, like, any anything that we listened to, like myself, twenty years ago, is now like a classic. Yeah, right, that's, isn't it? That's true, that bro. Hurts. <laughs> yeah, it hurts, but it's cool, man. I can't let my kids listen to it, but you know, oh, that's the worst. Yeah. Like some of the music back then was really yeah, bad. Really bad, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's asking what kind of music I listen to. I listen to all kinds of stuff. He's a Pantera kind of guy. I do like Pantera. I figured you would. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I also like listening to some reggaeton. Reggaeton. And uh um and I like sometimes I listen, I pull up on Pandora, I'll pull up like on club music. Mm-hmm. You know, I've heard you get down to that um, dubstep. <laughs> I listen to all kinds of stuff. You got that heavy metal to be playing in there sometimes because your your music will be on, and uh, it's very eclectic. It seems you know. I, I listen to all kinds of stuff. I didn't know Pandora was still a thing. Oh yeah, That's the <laughs> way I talked to somebody else about that. Yeah, too. bro, I, my Pandora like playlist is still saved and it's a great playlist. You know what I mean? I'm like, <laughs> I can't go away from it. I can't start over now. <laughs> so I just I'll use Apple it. Music though. Metallica is still going strong. I know that's right. Metallica, what late the '80s, bro? I mean, yeah, even though even on they even got Nirvana though on some of the classic rock shit. And they were like uh, you know, early '90s. I'm sorry, but what no, they right. call classic rock needs to quit playing this crap from the '70s. We're tired of hearing it. It's, it's old <laughs> enough. That's why I listen to Pandora. I don't want to listen to the radio. That's all they play. Yeah, I stopped listening to the radio like <clears throat> long ago. Hell yeah, I still like just sometimes <laughs> like the vibe of the radio. Uh, Mike is an uh, '80s uh, metal uh, fan. I kind of grew up on 80s metal because I was playing the drums and that's just what I was oh, that's into. Right. Kurt had the long hair, was doing tattoos. No, nope, I didn't have long hair. <laughs> I Smoking had my drums. Cigarettes. Our little garage band um, that couldn't figure out how to end a song. Um, <laughs> G minor, always. <laughs> not. <laughs> it's just make it. <laughs> but I got into 80s metal because the drum part was hard to play. Hell yeah. Uh, like pop music, though, it was just like just simple <laughs> little stuff. Like they could hire a band oh. for a concert. Yeah, straight up. You know, I only like Drake when he wants to get into battle mode, though. That's the only time I used to. I did like Drake before Drake was like what he is. I guess I don't know. Yeah, like like when I used to listen to a lot of stuff. I don't know. I guess it was called like underground, like mixtapes mm -hmm. and stuff. You well, know, you, well you're in Texas, though, bro. That was like the underground capital, son. Paul Wall. Yeah, you know, dude. Houston, Houston guys. Fucking, uh... That, yeah, that was good. UGK, all that, that shit. You ever get into any tex Max? Yeah, oh, well, yeah. I, mean, I just know the food. Yeah. Pistoletos. Oh, yeah. my That's all we grew up on. And then, like, even at uh, barbecues. Get... <laughs> barbecues and get-togethers and my mom was a big selena fan like that's all i heard growing up that was you well, know selena yeah r.i.p you know yeah but riding with my dad when he would every now and then take us you know to school and stuff it was a, the classic rock that's how i got into that too he got me into like metallica acdc you know all the classics led zeppelin uh Y'all know. marshall talker right Mar jethro tall no leonard skinner 
Oh, lead, bro. The greatest. Uh, be- let the lead. Dude, come on. Come, dude, dude, I know. There. If you've heard it like every day for thirty years, you get tired of it. I, I could still listen to. I could still <laughs> listen to "Stairway to Heaven" right now, bud. Oh, that. That oh, and um, that and uh, what's the, what's the free bird? Just put all day. I mean, you <laughs> might listen to it twice. That's about it because how long they are. But I just got into a recent um Slayer Bender, um Jason. I had a I had it on my playlist. Solid. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what the last thing that I had playing on was. Pink Floyd. This, this was fun. This was fun. Oh, Pink Floyd. Uh, oh, you know, I forgot about. Oh, I forgot about. I kind of like. Oh, this new song. Good. Y'all heard it? Well, it's like big on TikTok, but uh, I forgot the dude's name. It's like a white dude. Yeah, he has like. I found him on I Spotify. Like he has, yeah. <laughs> I found it on Spotify. Yeah, <laughs> this is the last one I had. It's got that like little sixties disco, like Starsky and Hutch vibe. I I grew up on a lot of disco too. My parents are big into disco, so I liked a lot of disco, funk. You know, yeah, that dude, kind of music. All that stuff was good, man. Like everything, everything is. I mean, music's music, man. That's why it's like good. It's good I for- like, yeah, like I have to. Everything I do, I have to have music playing. That's just the way I grew up, and that's the way I still am, right? You know, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll have a little speaker and play some music, and it's gonna be something different every time. <laughs> yep, yep, yeah. Just put that joint on shuffle. It'll be DMX one second. And oh, we might yeah. <laughs> go through some gospel stuff the next, and then you know what I mean. We're gonna definitely have some George Strait mixed in with the, uh, you know, Eminem. It just it it just keeps going. <laughs> uh, practical gadgeteer Jake just proved he has or he likes good music. That's all right. I like all music. You know what I mean? Hey, I think Eminem has a retirement album coming out. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> nah, he can still he can a still bars. Album? How old is he now? 50 like 50 something yeah Let's see clone. he's a clone though too. yeah what you got last what you got last oh come on like, oh, hold, on. hold on van halen 1980 that's also you gotta let me dude i was gonna say van halen come on <laughs> i knew it <laughs> Were you more of a Hagar kind of guy, or yeah, yeah? Because uh, what's his name, uh, David David Lee Roth? Lee Roth yeah, <laughs> he's a little bit of a kind of a ball. douche. <laughs> skis ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jason oh, just yeah. knocking out all these, uh, bro. Alternative nineties. Come on now, some but yeah, Bush, uh, Nirvana, like in Smashing Pumpkins, shit like you know what I mean. Sublime mm-hmm. though, it's definitely got that. Type what hap- of, yeah, like like what, what happened of- to music? Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> used to be good. Yeah, it's good stuff. I like music. That's, that was a good conversation, guys. Yeah, <laughs> ended on a light note. Waylon and Willie. Really. Oh yeah, you can't go. Or- that's that's it. You know what? I I just about a couple months ago I downloaded uh the deep cuts because on Apple Music they got the uh, essential playlist and all that stuff. Yeah, like, oh, I went yeah. down. I got I got some. Some old, some George Jones there, some Waylon, you know what I mean? Then it goes into some Tobies. I go through my phases and then I get my crunk music going, you know? You know, <laughs> like, I'm going to tell you, I never really liked Willie Nelson. I didn't like his music. Yeah. But that time that he put out an album to pay his taxes, I thought that was just funny. As my man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, fuck it. There's, um, and y'all know, y'all familiar with, uh, Zach Ryan. Hmm. Country is he's like a newer guy. Um, I think like so. A, Wait a minute, I think he, he's coming to concert here. Probably he's he's kind of gone big, but he has one more. Like his uh, newest song just went. He's like a country singer, but like independent, like folk country, indie country. Anyways, but they his label just released it to a pop pop radio instead of country, and he was like all fired. Like it, he didn't sit well because they didn't ask him. He was like, "Fuck it," and he's just gonna write his last album because he writes music like this. He only owes him one more, and then he's out of it. It's kind of um, reminds me of the same deal with Willie. There, it's like fuck. I'll just put together a piece of shit album so I can get out of this deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, it'll still probably be good, but it you just won't put as much time and effort, I guess. Uh, Mike B, 
music uh, in the in the eighties when you can get a like, ticket yeah, for sixteen. Sounds like my uncle, bro. Like yeah, he would always <laughs> talk about that shit. <laughs> what did the first the first real concert I went to was um Saw bon Rush. Bon Jovi and Skid Row. There we go. Okay. Yeah, Slap the, the bass. Slap at the bass. <laughs> and Bon Jovi put on a show. That was pretty good. And then after that, it was like Kiss and Solid. Kiss put oh, on yeah. a good show. Oh, yeah. They were just definitely theatrical. Uh, I was going to say that. Yeah. My, it's all uh, about the show. What you calls it? I go in a I go in a supply house. We got this dude Gary. Shout out Gary. He's like really uh into like that like I guess pop culture, movies, music. And he's big on the Beatles, and I'm like, and there's this old guy Colin. He's a little bit. He's like he's like fuck the Beatles, a bunch of fags, <laughs> you know. What I mean? And he's like the Beach Boys are better. And he's like, how do you think the Beach Boys got <laughs> you know their start? And he's like, <laughs> Colin's like look it up or whatever. And the Beach Boys were a year before the Beatles. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it goes. So who who copied who? It was just fun. You know something I got to say. Ringo Starr is probably one of the most famous drummers out. There. Yeah, yeah. But, but he ain't no good, right? This is like they, <laughs> they just had a good time, bro. Like I don't know. I mean, he's yeah. just an average guy doing average. Stuff. They definitely had. Hey, they had the marketing team behind them. <laughs> Anybody, <laughs> if you have a good team behind you, you'll be all right. You know. <laughs> we need a good marketing push. Oh yeah. Who's gonna who's gonna sponsor us? Um I actually got a couple of emails. Like people are watching, so we'll, we'll see what, what comes of that. So maybe we need to quit talking about music <laughs> and talk about tools. Yeah, well, bro, right? Today today at the Insco thing, I did <laughs> get to try out I did get I'm not sponsored by Navac or anything like that, but I, I did get to try out their hydraulic vendor. Yeah. The, so they no, just no, came out with battery one. joint? No, so one. they got like a, a squeeze, like yeah. So I was complaining yesterday. I mean, that that call, like I said, took us a long time, and I had to make some nineties on seven eights, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I have the Helmore Bender. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you guys have, but I have the Helmore yellow one. jacket. Mine gets stuck. It gets hard on the on like on the seven eights, like to pump pump it and and, and to it get it all the way at the ninety. it around the edges. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, they all do that. Yeah. yeah, you're supposed to like put some uh, some oil on it, like a WD forty or something, and it should help it smooth out when it's doing it. Such I, I always forget is what it is. I always forget, so I never do it. But you know, it's hard enough to get the ninety on it, right? I'm there trying with both hands to get it to to Damn. fully bend a seven eight. Yeah, fuck yeah. And then the little lever to release is so small, like I can't get my that little green on joint it. on that. So it, like you got to use one or two fingers and I, I don't have enough strength to do it like that. So I always get channel locks and like snap Damn. it. Right. Yeah. And My then, words. and then to, to release the pipe, the pipe gets stuck in the little. Yeah. You uh, gotta beat it. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was, I was like trying to find something I wouldn't damage. So I could like smack it off. But yeah, I tried the Navac one. one. For me. My yellow jacket is hard to use. Oh, okay. Well, I tried the Navac one and it was so Butter. simple. I did it with one hand. Released it, the pipe <clears throat> came right out. Hell yeah! I I mean, I, like I said, oh. I use the I use the um the yellow jacket. I get pretty got? good use out of it. Oh. The, I got the color coded one, so I've had it for five years or so. It's it's held up really well. I mean, now, I have, have y'all heard of anybody having problems with the hydraulic swagers? I never home. used them. I have the Navac one. I just use the one in the drill. You have any problems with it? No, I, I specifically got theirs because it does not require any maintenance either. Because the other ones you're supposed to change out the fluid and stuff. What? Uh, well, I've heard people talking about um, problems with them, and my swager has just got great big old handles. Oh, the big boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You so know, car's um, all jacked up and shit. Like, what's up, boy? Dude, I'm getting all like starting to get pains in my elbows. And my knees. <laughs> Speaking my of knees, which, dude, my God. knees hurt every day. Yeah, I jacked my arm up. It's I'm such a bitch, bro. Like I'm so tired <laughs> of this, man. Like it just always seems like something at some point. Like you're starting to feel good, you feel a little bit better, and then all of a sudden, like something. Yeah, so I I've had the I don't think I've had any other brand. I've just had the Navac one. My brother, when I sent him to go do a couple of like a I, well, just I just sent him to do one coupling. 
he cracked like three of them and then he finally is like man it took me a while so i guess on like quarter and maybe three it's like if you don't you know do it carefully you can crack them but like i've never had an issue with them yeah i'm coming from the old uh block where i would just like crank them out and i've always done it you know pretty good so i never had issues with any of them the hydraulic one personally i go about halfway release it turn it a little bit yeah complete, complete it that way i don't have any issues because you do get the ridges inside and that's what i think what causes the cracks yeah mm -hmm. and um the other swager the hand one you know what i'm talking about where you yeah it just squeezes oh open. yeah yeah, yeah. That but do you have the the big one or the i know they make small ones now it's about this big yeah i, I, I think that's what she said <laughs> huh that's what she said oh <laughs> I think it. Navac. I think Navac has one of those too, actually. Well, I did that for a long time, and um, it deforms the pipe, and then you got to go in and try to straighten oh, yeah. it out. And... I just use the spin ones that go in the drill. They're really good. You put it in I a hammer drill instead of a instead of an impact. Use the hammer drill, for, so it's better. You know the torque and all that. Yeah, That's what I use. But you don't. I try put putting. Hammer. Do you? Huh? You put it on hammer? Yeah, of course. No. <laughs> well, you said <laughs> yeah, no, no, but I use it because the clutch. So I can. They're yeah, yeah. they You have to have a certain uh, torque on those, or they won't. The work. um, the rector seal. I have those, and they're impact rated. They have the quarter inch hex, but it's I just it doesn't work as good. Like because you're like, <laughs> and you can just see it going like <laughs> around yeah. the copper. You're like stupid. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I always wondered about that. I have the uh, the spin ones. I forget who makes those. Yeah, it's spin. No, is no. That the name? I think that's who it is. The blue I one, think, the blue box. Yeah, I know, I know. But I think it, it might be like Diversitech or something. Uh, uh maybe. Because Diversitech also has Helmore and and all those. Oh, they ones. do. Okay. Oh, that's true. That's true. Acker, not... Yeah. Solid. That's why I always tell people like a lot of the stuff you have, it's probably the same damn company. True story. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well. But I, I was impressed with the bender. I have the, uh, I bought the battery powered uh, tube expander. So, I That's mean, it's it, easy. Yeah. It is what it is, right? You pay for it, but like it is nice. Like, when well, you, I, I love their flaring tool. I have their flaring tool oh. too, even though I hardly use it. I just, I had to buy it. <laughs> I, I don't I have any other tools. Frequently and I like it. it. It's nice. A lot it of them. It like, makes getting my, a good flare really easy. You put the oil on. I don't have my supply houses don't carry them. So, uh, mm. yeah, yeah, I, I, I yeah, I tell people like if you are worried about cracking or anything like that, just put a little bit of oil on there. There's like I have like a subco one. Just spit on it. A little no, yeah. that's the subco one with the spout. Yes. That's, no. <laughs> oh. I have the. I had to use a reverse attachment um, to get the bend coming out of the the wall that came out nice and to hook it up to the condenser because like the way they had it it went like up and yo you know, know they gotta do what are you talking about that? reverse bender attachment so it goes on top of the bars of your bender so it you makes can it bend it the other. opposite yeah so you can get into a tighter spot and all so like if you're if you have a if you have a pipe coming out of the wall and you want to bend it down you can't fit the 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 machine underneath it right so you're on so the you outside come out yeah yeah you're on the outside and it, it'll bend it the other way that's pretty the nice. yellow jacket sells it separately kurt you can buy the they all, just look they up all reverse uh, hillmore comes with it though i think no no you gotta buy it somebody can, oh maybe cps then somebody had it like oh the guy maybe. Worked. there's one yeah there's probably yeah. one that does and i was like man whatever because when i bought the yellow jacket he's like oh it doesn't it was it was my homeboy Sean, a Jamaican cat. He was like, "Oh, it doesn't come with the, uh, it doesn't come with the reverse." I'm like, I don't care, Sean. It's made in USA. It says, but, <laughs> so it says. <laughs> You're right. I'm like, I don't know. Yellow jacket says, I'm "Jason, like, oh, Jason, you didn't test it well enough, man." <laughs> I was a tester for Homer back in uh, 2013, 14. Is this legit? It has to be. Was he just saying he's it. like he, he? Well, I didn't know if he used it and said that that shit sucked and he stopped using it because. Well, he'll like let us know color. right now. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the green, you know? 
I had, the color I, had a, I had a Helmore or the Bender, and I had a Helmore uh, leak detector that actually was pretty good. I didn't know they had that either. Like, <laughs> you know, my, I mean? my brother really liked their st- their stuff, so he went out. I, I think he wanted like the gauges and like all okay. the tools. Well, yeah, no, they, they hit the supply houses hard. Like once they, I was, you know I mean? was gonna say before Navac, you like it was all Hillmore. Yeah, that was like well, the big. Well, they did have a, some good gauges, and their hoses seemed to be pretty good when I bought them. <laughs> but uh, I haven't tried much of anything else that Hillmore has. Yeah, I think they were good. It's just that now you have more options. I I have been pretty impressed with Navac, so I might try more other stuff. Yeah, they're and they got cool the over there, and they got those uh, new houses. Like, I, I haven't. Oh, they had them there. They're, they're nice. Yeah, the the three quarter. I gotta get them bitches, and they don't have the pieces on the end like the blue, true blues where you gotta fit it to where you need it. They're like, although I've had a bad experience with one. What are y'all talking about? The Navac um vacuum hose. They got a three quarter one. <clears throat> Kurt, tell us. Well, I tell I don't us even more. use my my blue one anymore. To be honest. Yeah, I think we I think talked it was about the them. Navac half inch hose. That's the one I had an issue with. I, I've still got mine. I thought I'd thrown it away, but I, me I too. I put it on offer up. I think I was. It was impossible to replace the gasket in the quarter inch side. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Hmm. So it, it ruined the whole thing. I mean, you can't replace the gasket, and the gasket that was in there was all doubled up. <laughs> yeah, it's like so it tells me that the specs on it are too tight. You can't fit it in there. Yeah. <clears throat> I wrote into them for you, so Let's see if they get oh. back to me. <laughs> well, I know Brad. If I, I, I don't I don't have an issue. I always give him shit for, for things. Yeah. Yeah, just say what's up to Brad. Be like, hey Brad. I mean, I have a video where like I the first use of it, the little coupler piece on the end of the quarter inch popped off as I was doing the vacuum. I'm like, seriously you know. that back? There goes your vacuum. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I uh, I had Brian, one the other day. Brian has the gauges and he managed to crack something on the on one of the fittings or like the hanger where you put the hose. Mm-hmm. Um or where you store the, the hoses. Um he cracked something and I was like, Brad, somebody managed to break your shock resistant gauges and I don't know yeah. why. He's like, What? No way. So I sent Brian over to him and he replaced it. Um nice. I'm pretty nice. sure. He's like, Don't worry about it, you know. <laughs> I I took a um I was doing a job and I for whatever reason I took it oh I was I did an install just a couple weeks ago <clears throat> and I lost one of the traders as I was doing the vacuum so I had a spare uh core tool so I took the straighter out of that and put it in the one I lost and then for the next install I'm pulling the vacuum using that valve core I didn't realize I put my micron on that bitch and I'm like why the fuck ain't this shit going down I just hear it go <laughs> You know, <laughs> sucking through that port, bro. And I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? I'm like, and I just see all the moisture coming through the uh the pump. Uh-huh. And I'm like, you know, you know, I'm like, dumbass. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I, yeah, well, I think we've all done it. Oh man. Oh, yeah. Well, Jason answered. He left the negative review, and that was the end of that. <laughs> see, it, he was a tester because it sucked. That's why. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, let me see. Hillmore makes the worst metal snips I've ever used. Solid, um, Midwest, and then uh, Jason says his tour tour reviews were r- ridiculous. You needed four pages of write up, I guess. Oh no shit! It's like all a that extra work. Essay. I ain't got time yeah. for this. <laughs> you know, uh, Liliana, hello, hola, um, hola. <laughs> See that? Hey, hey. Uh, what do you guys prefer? What do you guys use or prefer, field piece or fluke? Oh, I had that as my one of my topics the other week. <clears throat> I'm just, um, I just have I have both, and but I generally just reach for my field piece. I have the 902 FC, and it's not as like the response isn't as fast as the field piece. 480. Um, I prefer the field piece. I do. I don't it's work just, on like big commercial electrical yeah. stuff, like you know what I mean. That's what I always tell people because I had the reason I had it, had it written down. Maybe we'll get into it next time. Like I, I did a video for something, and then like a <clears throat> bunch of fluke people just came at me. They're dying. I was like, bro. yeah, I was like, it it does what I needed to do. I, <laughs> yeah. I had field piece for seventeen years, 
And I think some of them accuse me of being sponsored in this and that. This and that. Yeah. I'm like, Field Peace doesn't pay me crap. Yeah. I've had them since I started. Mm-hmm. No issue, right? It does what I needed to do. I like how I like the form factor of it. It does everything, you know. Why am I gonna complain? The fluke, yeah. my dad has fluke, he's into that. That's his that's my dad, yep. <laughs> that, that's what he prefers. I tried to give him a field piece one time, but he went back to fluke. It it doesn't fit in my bag the way I would want it to either. Like there's different things, you know. Yeah. You know, the the six eighty is kind of big, but I just like it. Mm-hmm. Everybody likes the four eighty. I prefer the yeah. six eighty too. Yeah, I have a, I have them both, and I keep going back to the six eighty. I just like it. Oh, I am. It's the girth for me. It's just <laughs> that's how I am too. Because uh, I always want to downsize. I'm like, I don't know. Just you know, I prefer to use the other one. I like being able to twist it. You can place it, pop it. You twist it so you can see Pull it. Pull it. <laughs> it. Pop it. Pull it. <laughs> Twist it! Come on, damn it, Kurt. I I don't. Oh, sorry, like... I don't know that one. <laughs> um, I've been trying to give hints to you know Tony and and Field Peace and everything. Like, I don't understand why the other two don't have a lead storage though. That's the only thing. The six eighty has where you can slide the leads <clears> in the back, <throat> and I actually use that a lot. True story. Yeah, I, have... I ripped one of my bags with the lead. <laughs> <laughs> Which what what bag? Had to be one of the uh, Buskies or something. Had to be one no, of them. It was, a, it, was a bag that had, it was a bag that had warranty, and they sent me out another one. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Didn't tell them how it ripped, but, you know. Yeah. Damn. Now, the, uh, I have the other one. The first one I bought was the, I'm going to say the HS33, um, where it's got all those stupid attachments. It's got the thing in the back for oh, it, too. Oh, that one. Yeah. Which is... <laughs> It's they unique. It like the it would, is an attachment on that one. Yeah, dude. I wish they would have like put the leads down the bottom, and then you could still just swap out the attachments. Like this is what made it a great meter instead of the leads being in the same position where you put the attachments. You know something? I had that meter, and I had to repair it because where the attachments go in, uh huh, a solder joint broke, and I had to go back in and solder it back up because you're plugging stuff into it all. Yeah, the, in and out. Of, yeah, and um. I ended up giving that one to my dad. Yeah. Cool part is like when you did, you could attach your leads to it and then put the amp and then put the amp inside and bring the leads outside. That was a unique feature. But, you know, you had the anemometer and all that stuff that you could attach to oh, it. Yeah. I, I never had that one. I had the uh, LT16A, which was similar. Mm-hmm. But the attachments, so that one, they just went on top, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So on the on the one that I had, you would use the two uh, leads and then put your attachment on the lead. Two leads. Yeah. 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 That's the one that I I started with. I just bought it because it was the most expensive. I'm like, that's got to be the best. (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) And it's like, and then, yeah. And then they're like, oh, so many attachments. You can do like everything. Yeah. The first leader I bought was a UEI. Oh, yeah. I think we've talked about that. And you didn't (laughs) like it, right? Well, it. It told me there was no voltage there. Oh yeah. And I got shocked. <clears throat> but oh, that, looking, that, yeah, I would throw but, that up. You didn't but check the ground. Looking back, I was a green tech. I probably didn't test the ground, and I I may have just had one leg, you know, and it reads oh, zero. Oh yeah. So I was a green tech. It was probably my fault that yeah, I got. But you're like, but ever you're like, since then, screw you, yeah. guy. <laughs> Maybe we'll pick one up and just test it out. I kind of like the little form factor. I like the way their um, amp clamp is kind of shaped. I like that about the Testo. I had a Testo, but I broke it. But I like the way they're... I think, I think Navac has a damn meter now, too. Probably. They're coming out with I a know, lot of make- I know Testo does. Um, what's his name? HVAC Technology used to have mm-hmm. one, and he broke it. Yeah, that's the same. Yeah, we did the same thing. His The slide down. I'm, yep. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Curtis getting yeah. shocked. Yeah. Yeah. No. Hey, I didn't get shocked today, so it was a good day. T- today was a good day. Good guy. Uh, you must have been late today. I, got, I had a change out. Bad guy. Compressors. I gotta. I gotta go. I kind of rescheduled it. I have a duct. I have to fix a return on a duct that just just fell off. Uh, in a drop ceiling, like an RTU. Yeah. The return. I was like, man, why isn't this thing cooling? Right. We. Everything on the roof is good. We're we're getting uh 
uh, we're cooling up there. We're getting sweating back to the compressor, you know, charge is right and get in the ceiling. And I'm like, Oh, there it is. Uh, there's no, the return oh. is missing the whole bottom piece to it. That'll, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. So I got to go back to that one tomorrow. Hell yeah. Dropped a All little right, mini guys. off to get wrapped today, by the way, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Oh, we'll right. have the mini B. We driving yeah, around soon. When that comes out, yeah, so, that'll be dope. We have we have one that has been in the shop. Well, not in the shop. It's been there. We need to get it fixed because something's wrong with the computer. Damn it! But it, it's one of those uh, connects or whatever it is. Yeah. When we finally have time to get it fixed, we'll get it wrapped. That's it. I like it. Mm. Anything else, or you guys want to sign off? That was a what fantastic time? show. What time? The Kurt's having a good old time. He ain't even ready for bed yet. <laughs> Riley's probably, probably already asleep. Yeah, he's probably asleep on the couch by now. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Great All right, show. Guys, I think uh, I think we'll sign off. I'll, thanks, everybody, for coming out. We'll see you guys next time. Later. <laughs>